Hello, uh, we are in Mongolia right now, attending the 25th anniversary of Mongolia Evangelical uh, Church. Uh, we all are invited by Mongolia uh, Evangelical Alliance and also we have uh, Asia General Assembly, Asia Evangelical Assembly. Here I'm with uh, Dr. Morris Ramlaliana and his wife. He is the Myanmar uh, Evangelical Alliance General Secretary. And here is our dear friend, uh, our great leader, uh, Mr. James uh, from Japan. He is the General Secretary for the Evangelical Alliance in Japan uh, uh, before. Yeah, and now he is the very great leader for us. And he was the ex co uh, member of uh, uh, Asia Evangelical Alliance. Uh, will you share something about uh, what you uh, learn or what you want to appreciate? Hello everyone, my name is James Tanabe from Japan. I was so glad to be with uh, these uh, uh, great leaders from uh, your country, Myanmar. And also we had a very good, great experience uh, in this country, Mongolia. God is really working through this country and I believe God is also alive, actively working in your country. May God bless you abundantly. Thank you. Thank you. Can you say thank you in Japan? In Japanese, thank you is arigato. Arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> thank you so much, uh, James. Yeah. Uh, the Mongolia church is very young. Very, very young. Uh, within a, Oh, here is the Mongolia pastor. Hello. Hello, Mongolia pastor. Can you say uh, uh, greetings uh, in Mongolia? Sambetrano, Tabukunt, Kakto, Dreaming Durgia, Tigatunutur, Hailchaka Fukumuste, the Mongsin, Ati Yangsi, Sing, Yunkan something, Chosa Hostel, Kakasta Botjungurzo, Tigatun, Hamgin Sakhan Kusi, it's neat, it hits me, you wrote Nibusus, Tazbuk Nikusia, Hamsta Hanslin to Do. Thank you. Uh, here, nobody we can translate what he's saying, <laughs> but <laughs> Pastor Bangnabas. Uh, I hope uh, and we would like to say thank you to Mongolian uh, churches. Uh, thank you for your hospitality. And here is uh, Dr. Morris. This is a very young church. It's just within uh, 35 years, the growth is so rapid. And uh, we are so great to learn what the Mongolian church does in these 35 years of great uh, achievement. Uh, Dr. Morris, any input and greeting? Well, uh, we just heard that Mongolia had their independence in 1990 from Russia. So everything looks like Russian. Their, their language, it's, it sounds like Russian uh, from, from us. Uh, but what we found here is, yeah, Mongolian Christian leaders are very humble and simple and they love God. So they are very friendly. So everything we find here is very wonderful. Yeah. And yeah. So my name is, is uh, Mongolian name. His real name is Bat Bolt. Uh, his Christian name is Barnabas. I'm his uh, World Harvest Mission Church senior senior pastor. I see. Yeah. The Mongolian church is uh, just 35 years, but the growth is so high. They are now two percent Christianity in Mongolia, right? Yeah, 2%. Now it's more three or four. Oh, three to four percent, they are going up. And also, one thing we love about Mongolia churches, even though they are very first generation Christian, uh, the impacts that they are going to make to the society is so huge. Uh, we can see from uh, other in the Christ, they are well educated, they have a strong heart like their grandfather, forefather, uh, Genghis Khan. Uh, they are moving forward people and they love to work done everything so we appreciate that and they have two Bible one Bible is the ancient uh, Bible and now they have a with the Russian script right yeah yeah one thing I would like to add is in Mongolia there are only three by seven million but they have uh, the castle or uh, animal is 70 million seven zero million and they have <laughs> horse you know i love horse and they have 18 million horses <laughs> it's so amazing is 
a wonderful creation of God is so beautiful in this land. Please come everyone and come and see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. See you all guys. Thank you Mongolian Chess for your host and our Asian Evangelical Alliance leader. Thank you. God bless you.